Are you struggling with the weight? To reduce your body weight, you have tried everything. Someone also told you that get your thyroid test done. Maybe thyroid is making you gain weight. You did that test also. And to your surprise, that test came absolutely normal. Rather than being happy, now you are more sad. Oh my God, this report is also normal. Then why am I gaining weight? Why am I not losing weight? Well, if that is your question in your mind, then stay tuned with me because I'm going to discuss one such important test which you can do at the comfort of your home to find out what is causing you weight gain. Stay tuned with me and we will discuss in our today's video. Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I'm an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. Weight, one of the most common challenge everyone is facing. And for this gaining the weight, there are many, many reasons. And one such reason is the insulin resistance. But in my today's topic, I'm going to discuss a test which you can do at home so that you know what is your insulin resistance index. And that is none other than a test called HOMA IR test. If you are someone who has a PCOS, then a doctor might have asked you to do this test. You may have done this test before. If not, then again, we are going to discuss about it. So what is HOMA IR test? Let's see the full form first. HOMA IR the stands for Homeostatic Model Assessment of Insulin Resistance. It is actually a calculation method and by which we can know about the insulin resistance present in your body. In fact, this test is also used to understand your insulin sensitivity and also for your beta cell function. It is one of the very important, very advanced test. Okay. HOMA IR test is not a very new test. In fact, this test was developed in the year 1985 by Dr. Matthew et al. Okay. It's a team of doctors who invented this test. During olden times, in the laboratorical scenario, the scientists used to use a method called as a glucose clamp test, which was a very, very gold standard test. But the drawback with that test was that it was not actually utilizing in the clinical practice. And that's where the birth of the HOMA IR test came. And HOMA IR test is used very commonly in today's time in a doctor's clinical practice. This HOMA IR test gives us a lot of detailed insights within your body. And that is what we have at today's discussion. Okay. So when we are talking about the HOMA IR test, couple of questions which comes in the people's mind. And what are they? First, is it a blood test? Answer is yes. It is a calculation based on a blood test. Okay. Second, do I need a fasting for this test? Answer is yes, 8 to 12 hour fasting is needed. Third, is it going to uh, help me understand that will I get a diabetes? Answer is yes. In fact, this test is a very, very advanced test. This test can help you understand your risk of developing a future diabetes. Not only that, this test is also useful for people who have a pre-diabetes, who are obese, not able to lose weight, who is having a lot of darkening over their body, what we call it as the acanthosis nigricans, which usually happens over your nip of the neck and your elbow, underarms, inner thighs, on the face. So if you have acanthosis nigricans, you should, getting, uh, you should consider getting this test done. If you are a woman and struggling with the PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome or any infertility related issue, you should consider to get these tests done. If you are a diabetic and you want to know what is your insulin resistance score, you should consider getting this test done. And if you are someone who is having a very strong family history of a diabetes and you want to know your future risk, 
then also you should consider getting this test done. That means this test can be useful for all these people. Okay. Another question do people have in mind? Is it same like an HbA1c test? Answer is no. HbA1c is completely a blood test. HOMA IR is a calculation based on a blood test. Secondly, HbA1c test gives us a value of a three month average blood sugar. Okay, and uh, HbA1c is more reliable uh, to understand your control of your diabetes, whether you have a pre-diabetes or not. HbA1c test cannot tell you about insulin resistance, which is a root cause of the diabetes. For that, you need to do HOMA IR test. Okay, and the best part is you can do this calculation based on it, uh, just at the comfort of your home. How is it going to happen? I will tell you by end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Another thing is that people often ask that is it going to help me understand what type of diabetes I have? Do I have a type 1 diabetes or do I have type 2 diabetes? Answer is no. This test is not going to tell you a type 1 or a type 2 diabetes. For that, we have a different kind of a testing. What are those testing? I have made a different video on that. If you are interested, watch that video to understand. This is not going to help you understand the difference between type 1 and a type 2 diabetes. All right. Now, so what is this test based on? It is based on the principle to understand the insulin resistance inside your body. Okay. Now, since I'm talking about the HOMA IR, which is a primarily insulin resistance index, it becomes my responsibility to just give you a brief about the insulin resistance. What is it? Okay. So, first of all, in our abdomen, we have an organ called the pancreas. Okay. This pancreas has a different kind of a cells and one such cell is a beta cell and it is this beta cell which secretes a hormone called as insulin. Okay, The role of the insulin in our body is to balance our blood sugar. Okay, Whatever food we eat, okay, they all going to increase our blood sugar. It is this energy present in the food has to reach its end target and that is the cell. The glucose has to reach within the cell and to transport that glucose from the blood to the cell is going to be done with the help of a insulin. So if the insulin is not working properly, the glucose will not go inside the cell this glucose will collect in the blood and that's where your blood sugar will start rising and what we call it as a diabetes. Okay, so insulin hormone is very, very important for this blood glucose transportation. For any reason, if your insulin is not working very, very effectively, then also you can have a diabetes and that is nothing but an insulin resistance. HOMA IR is going to tell us about your insulin resistance. It is one of the very, very important tests in today's time because the metabolic syndrome diseases are continuously rising. Even if you are not struggling with the weight issue, but if you have any other metabolic syndrome problem like a high blood pressure, cholesterol problem, fatty liver, uric acid issues, there is a strong possibility that your HOMA IR is going to come at a higher range. And that's why this test is very, very essential. Okay. So let's learn how do we do this test. Okay. So first of all, as I told you earlier, it is a calculation based test. Okay, To obtain the result, you will have to do a blood test, which should be done 8 to 12 hour fasting. And during this fasting period, you are not going to eat or drink anything. Plain water, cold water, warm water, hot water is allowed. But no juices, no tea, no coffee, no breakfast or nothing. Okay, And you need to get these tests done. When you do this test, you need to go to the nearby laboratory and do two testing. 
first is a fasting plasma glucose and the second one is the fasting insulin these two results you have to do in the nearby laboratory okay sometimes when we talk about this test people often ask doctor i have a glucometer with me at home can i do the glucose levels on that answer is no uh, do the testing of the plasma glucose the capillary blood sugar will not give you the very reliable result so ideal is to get the fasting plasma glucose and a fasting insulin once you have both of these levels you can do the homa ir calculation okay what you are supposed to do it's a simple math formula how it is done it's written on the screen but still i am explaining you so what you have to do uh, the fasting insulin now this level is interpreted as a micro unit per ml okay this you need to multiply by fasting plasma glucose now here there are two levels are there in a country like india this fasting plasma glucose is a result comes in the form of a milligram per deciliter but lot of international countries uh, there the fasting plasma glucose is interpreted as nano mole per liter so understand what is the uh, unit of interpretation of the fasting plasma glucose if you are using a milligram per deciliter then this calculation works so uh, fasting insulin into uh, fasting plasma glucose and that you are going whatever result you get you are going to divide that by number 405 okay so you will get one answer if you are using uh, fasting plasma glucose in a nanomole per liter uh, measurement then the calculation is different then in that case you will have to use a calculation fasting plasma glucose into fasting insulin whatever result you will get you have to divide that by 22.5 okay and you will get the answer so based on what level has come 1 to 1.5 1.8 that is your individual uh, uh, insulin resistance score okay uh, now let's understand how are you going to interpret it and what is going to be the drawback of this test that's also i'll tell you coming to the interpretation if your level is 1 or less than 1 that means your insulin hormone in your body are working perfectly you are not having insulin resistance okay but if your level is more than 2.5 it means your insulin resistance is way too high you are at a very high risk of developing all metabolic disorders type 2 diabetes or a pcos if you are someone who already has this kind of a issue then in that case your target should be achieving homa ir less than 1.5 yes if you are at the level less than 1.5 that means insulin resistance is very very low insulin hormone is working very effectively in your body whatever attempts you are trying to lose weight will give you a fruitful results okay so this should be the target range if you have a uh, any of the disease and if you are healthy you don't want to land up with any such kind of a problem again your target should be anywhere between 1 to 1.5 okay that should be our goal now coming to the certain pitfall about this testing okay uh, two three places where this result may be not 100% accurate first if you are already a diabetic and if you are taking a insulin from outside that's an exogenous insulin in the form of injection this report may not be very very reliable okay second category is a lean type 2 diabetes yes now what is this lean type 2 diabetes you might have seen that people who have a type 2 diabetes are often overweight or they have a obesity okay there is a very small population who are very very lean who don't have a very high body weight their bmi is often less they are lean people in spite of being lean they still have a diabetes and this is actually a variant of a type 2 diabetes and this is the population where their beta cell functioning is quite compromised and lot of time their beta cell uh, production of the insulin is also not very effective since this test is reliable on a fasting insulin level if that is low your report may not come accurate okay 
Similarly, third group is a type 1 diabetes. In a type 1 diabetes, often the insulin production is a negligible. Okay, and again in that kind of first spectrum of those people, HOMA IR test may not give you 100% reliable result. So this you need to keep in mind. However, understand it's not necessary that people who have a type 1 diabetes will not have insulin resistance. If they don't look, uh, they do, if they don't focus on their lifestyle, they can develop a insulin resistance. So having a type 1 diabetes doesn't mean that you are not going to have an insulin resistance. So you have to have a good lifestyle. That should be the goal also. Okay. Um, so these are the certain pitfall of these H uh, HOMA IR test. Okay. Another question often asked, is this the only test to understand uh, insulin resistance? Answer is no. There are plenty many other methods also available. Uh, one such test is called a HOMA 2 test. Secondly, we have a quickie test, Q-U-I-C-K-I, quickie test. Third, we have a ratio of a waist circumference and a hip circumference. So that we call it as a WHR, waist to hip circumference ratio. Another calculation what we do is a triglyceride divided by HDL cholesterol. And uh, another is a triglyceride by glucose index. So all such other methods are also used to interpret whether you have a insulin resistance or not. Okay. So do try HOMA IR calculation at home and what your result comes. Write that in the comment box. I will try to read and answer them what steps you need to take in order to reduce your insulin resistance. Okay. I hope this video helped you learn a bit about your own health and if yes please click on the like button if you are new to my channel then please subscribe so that i get more and more encouragement to make such hormone based videos for you and if you have any of your personal question whose answer you are seeking for then write that in the comment box below i try to read them and answer them as early as i can we will meet again in some another video. Till that time, you take care of yourselves. Namaste.